this video, I'm gonna show you why you may not need an iron mover to actually pull contaminants out of your car's paint and why that purple reaction may just be a marketing gimmick to get you separated for more of your money. Let's find out in this video. So on the driver's side, I had to make sure, on the right side, driver's side of the car, I'm gonna use the Jimbo's Pure Magic Cleaner at a four to one dilution ratio. The great thing about the Pure Magic Cleaner is it not only works on rims to clean the barrels really good, the faces, water spots, but it also actually pulls out contaminants of the car, out of the car paint and actually removes them and separates them from the surface. And then on the passenger side, what I'm gonna do is spray a unbranded iron remover. I don't need any brands getting mad at me over here. So I'm gonna do an unbranded iron remover on the passenger side, and then I'm gonna rinse them both off, show you the differences as they are working. And then I'm gonna use a traditional clay bar and show you the Pure Magic Cleaner side compared to the iron remover side. So let's start with the Pure Magic. All right. Again, this is at the four to one dilution. And the point or the purpose of, or what would make this awesome, if it does, is that there's way more uses with just one product, which is what I'm constantly after, is I don't want a thousand different products for a thousand different things. I want one product that can do multiple things. So, and then on this side, we'll do the traditional iron remover. The one downside to the Pure Magic Cleaner is that you will not see that purple reaction happen like we will on this left side. So, but you will get much better cleaning ability. But you also don't get the horrendous smell that you get from an iron remover. So the Pure Magic Cleaner virtually has no smell. Okay, so we will let both of those products dwell on the surface for a couple minutes or as they start to dry. But again, what you will see on the passenger side that you will not see with the Pure Magic side is that purple reaction. Any purple that you're seeing on the surface from the Pure Magic side is just the product itself is purple. So and then we'll take the tr traditional clay bar and see which side is actually cleaner. Before we move on to the next part of the video, I wanna talk, talk to you about my newest creation. That's Jimbo's All Dressed Up. This is a multi-purpose dressing. So this will work on tires, it'll work on trim, black plastic trim around your car, it'll work on the interior. And the best part about it is, is that it has an adjustable shine. So it's fully dilutable depending upon how much shine or shine you want or how much shine you don't want all wrapped up in a product. It is available for pre-sale right now, so I'll leave a link below. If you would like to pre-order this product, you could be one of the first to try out the newest Jimbo's creation, all dressed up. As you can see on the left side, we have a much more of a reaction than on the right side. We virtually have nothing. I'm gonna do my best to rinse it so we don't get any cross-contamination. So let's see how well I can do. An interesting thing to note about, this is why I like the Pure Magic Cleaner, is that its cleaning ability is much better. So though both sides are, aren't equal, I understand that. If we look at the just junk on the paint that is left on the iron remover side, that is because iron removers are not good cleaners. Do iron removers clean? Yes. Are they good cleaners? No. So if we look over, even on the front, Pure Magic side still has some stuff, but it, look, it doesn't have any of the bugs or guts or anything over there. And when we look at the paint, sure, we have the little bee poo or whatever, but comparatively to the other side, it's actually cleaning the paint. 
just like it actually cleans the rims, whereas an iron remover just pulls out the contaminants. So again, I'm making the point that you get way better cleaning. It's a way better product to go with the Pure Magic. So what I will do is I'm going to take this brand new clay bar. So you can see it's brand new. I just got out of the packaging. I'm gonna try to rip it in half and we'll use half on one side, half on the other. If I can break it and then we will compare. So, of course, for my clay lube, I'm gonna use Toughest Shell. Idea, I did, had to do that last time I did a clay bar video, so I will grab my phone and set a one minute timer. Timer done. Flip over, leave that clay bar there. Start my timer. Okay, so let's compare. We have the Pure Magic side. Here, I can bring it over to the light. That is the Pure Magic side, and I will grab the other side. As you can see, <laughs> pretty comparable, right? But here's the point is that it's comparable, right? And so if you were to have to choose though, an iron remover only removes the iron contaminants. It doesn't actually clean the paint, right? And then it also doesn't clean the rims as effectively either. So the point is showing not that the Pure Magic Cleaner is necessarily a better iron remover than an iron remover, it's that it's a better and more effective cleaner than an iron remover and pulls out the iron contaminants. And that's proven through the it looking comparable in the traditional clay bar. So you can get way more use cases, way more things out of one product than you can with an iron remover. And that's exactly what I wanted to show. So an iron remover is never gonna remove water spots. An iron remover is never gonna be able to be put in a foam cannon to boost your soap. A iron remover can never be used to revitalize a ceramic coating. And so there's all these extra use cases that the, gives it the product, the name, the Pure Magic Cleaner, and it can remove iron contaminants. See what I'm saying? So in order to get more efficient, more effective, and just better, better flow with your detailing in general, it's better to have products that can do multiple things versus having a standalone product that can only do one thing, right? And so that's iron removers can really only do one thing. They just remove iron and they change colors, right? So the Pure Magic Cleaner is much more of an all around cleaner for those deeper things that you need to do sometimes in detailing. So hope you guys enjoyed that video. I will link to the Pure Magic Cleaner below. The hardest shell or toughest shell is still 25% off in the store. And I will link that below there. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Catch you on the next one. See ya.